Real Salt Lake back at America's first field, coming off three games in eight days, a win at home against New York City FC, a close loss on the road at LA, followed up by a 2-1 loss on the road at Vancouver. Next up, RSL fans, the Rocky Mountain Cup as Colorado comes to town. Whenever you go into Vancouver, it's always hard to get a result. I thought we put ourselves in a good position you know, towards the end of the game, but you know, right now we're having a difficult time closing out games, but I think uh, you know, we're still learning and we're growing and we're going to take the negatives and try to turn them into positives. And uh, it just comes from working hard you know, and training and trying to bounce back. We've done a good job each, uh, each time we've had a tough result of coming back and bouncing back. So hopefully we'll be able to do that this week. We have a great opportunity at home on Sunday. The last month or so we started to play better soccer. The goals will come, the wins will come. So I think now we can get into a good routine of playing at home, not having to travel as much so your legs aren't as heavy. And I think now we can start pushing t towards uh, hitting a good peak in the next couple of months, June, July, will be a nice uh, test for us to try and hit uh, peak performance in August for when we've got the Champions League as well. But right now our concern is climbing up the ladder. I don't like to look at the, the league schedule too much. Just try and take one game at a time and concentrate on my football and my team. So every other team has got their own problems and they'll hit good patches and bad patches but right now uh, concentrating on Sunday will be sure it'll be nice weather uh, good turnout and then um, I think we'll get the job done especially after two tough uh, road defeats um, plenty of fire in our bellies we're paying for our mistakes right now and and in soccer you're supposed to it's a game of mistakes and uh, when teams are making mistakes against us we aren't quite punishing them. When we're making a mistake, we're getting punished and you know that's how soccer goes. We have to get smarter, better choices, better decisions, especially defensively, and then attacking, having that killer that killer mindset. You know, I think our last two performances are promising. Our re the results weren't, but the performances I think were were promising. Uh, we still have a ways to go. Uh, but again, if we can make a strong push here with these games at home, uh, that's where you really start to make jumps in the, in the league is taking care of business at home. The Colorado Rapids come to Rio Tinto Stadium two points behind Real Salt Lake in the Western Conference standings and coming off a 2-1 loss at home against the Portland Timbers. At home, you want to get three points regardless. May was a tough month for us as far as scheduling goes, so we knew that you know, it was going to be tough LA and Vancouver. And you know, having an extra day off with, Sunday, with a Sunday game, and it'll be good for us. And, you know, obviously three points will be huge here, uh, but any three points at home is big. So we want to win at home, and that's definitely what we're going to try to do on Sunday. We've got a lot of players on youth national teams and Olympic teams and full national teams. So it'll be challenging, but uh, you can see that, you know, we have a, gr a lot of young talent on our team. They've stepped up earlier already this year, and uh, we're going to need them to step up uh, in, the, in the next few weeks here. Each day I just try to come out and work hard and prepare myself for any opportunity that comes my way and you never know, you know, this team there are a lot of good players and I think our job is to make just choice difficult when it comes to picking the 11 and that's what I try to do every day and it, you know, if he uh, picks my number I want to be ready and well prepared so that's what I do, come out work hard and yeah like you said playing more definitely gives me more confidence. I'm one of those guys, you know, I'm not playing every week and any chance we get an opportunity to play, uh, you're going to have young guys and you're going to have guys that aren't starting a lot that want to make the most of their opportunity. So, you know, you're going to see guys step up, you know, Justin did a good job of that on uh, Saturday. And, you know, as people get, start getting taken away for international duties, Gold Cups, and, you know, it's going to come down to us and we're going to have to step up and getting games in now is a good thing that will help that in the long run. Well, it's been a busy offseason for the Colorado Rapids. Four international signings, two draft picks that have seen significant minutes, and most importantly, head coach Pablo Mestriani settling on the 4-2-3-1 formation. I know they got some dangerous strikers up top, but you know, it's the same thing as always. Um, if we got to come in with our game plan, we're going to be at home, and you know, we expect to win this game, so that's what we're going to try to do. They have good players. They've made some great additions uh, to their team this past year. We're getting some good veteran veteran players in the offseason and also now adding some, some good foreign players to their team. It's probably going to take some time for them to gel. Uh, they're good players. Uh, Pablo, I know, is going to be on top of them. Um, but again, it's, a, it's our home game. You know, we have to come out with more intensity, more passion, more commitment from them, and, uh, and, uh, and a killer mentality in that final third.